channel and today in this video I am going to be changing my hair um, currently I have in clippings that are super long they go all the way like this um, I got these clippings from the local beauty supply store here in my area it's called beauty for you so I don't know if you guys have heard of it. These clippings are called the silk press clippings. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to put my camera down a little bit. Yeah, so these are like the silk press clippings. So yeah, I just have them clipped into my hair. I straighten my hair first and then I put these clippings in and they seem to work, like blend really well. So if you see me looking this way, I'm looking at my mirror, okay? So yeah. So I had in a like a pronto that I made and Lord, when I took the pronto out, literally cut my hair. It was a it was a it was a devastating moment. So yeah, I had to deal with that. So for some odd reason, there are two areas in my hair that are like very short, like this short, this side and this side. So that's hard when you're trying to do a part. It's very hard when you're trying to do a part. So what I've decided to do is I have my part on this side, right? So I'm going to switch it. I got to go back up. I'm going to switch it to this side. So this side has hair. And I just didn't do my edges. So I'm just going to take these clippings out on this side. And these are the smaller ones. So this is the two pieces. And this is how it looks. Wait. These are like two pieces and this is how it looks. And see how quickly you can tell? <laughs> That's not good. And you can put heat on these clippings. You can put heat on them. So, yeah. We don't have, it doesn't, the pack comes with seven clippings. And this is all I have in my hair is the seven clippings. It does not come with like, like one clip clippings. It's always like two. Two is the lowest and it goes up to, I think, five clips so this is the one with the three so I took those three out so this is my hair right here so what I'm going to do now this side I had got to be it down this is my hair it's like you see how ugh. it was got got to be down and I don't want to put any water on it right now but I'm going to just try to like Brush it out. If I put water on it, it might straighten. So I'm just dampen the brush a little bit and I'm just gonna try to brush it out. Cause like I said, I used the free spray <clears throat> to try to get it flat, but I wanna put a track right here. And I actually, I could just put the track, I could just put the clip in on this side. All right, because I, I did it so that this would stay back. This would stay back my whole time. So I'm just going to brush this down like this. And as you can see, if not, like that bottom layer of my hair is super frizzy. So I'm going to straighten that too. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just worrying about getting the clips in the right place. Once we get the clips in the right place, we can figure out what else we're going to do. So this part is where I'm going to put the super long clip. Before I start that, I need to do my part. So we're going to separate off where I think I want to put my part at. So I got this big shower comb because sis ain't got time for it. So I think I want my part like right here. This can be my part. And as you can see, I already have like a clip in there. So that works out perfectly. Let me just define this part better. And I like to take it all the way back 
to get really nice, really nice. Okay. Okay. Then I'm just going to brush this down. Okay. So this is good. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to part this up. And this is going to just like come down a little bit. Because that makes more sense to me. So we'll just push this off to the side. Now this side is where the clippings. The clippings are going to go back in this section because this section is already down and you can't really see. Am I, are my lights on good? I don't know if you guys can really, I don't like, hold on, hold on one moment. Yeah, maybe. So you can see that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to <clears throat> put this clip in. So I'm gonna put this clip in. And I'm just gonna put it in the area that's already parted, hopefully. It's enough space. So it's this one. Okay. So we'll start on the end here. We'll just push this in here. Okay. Got that in place. Go ahead and let's comb this out. Okay, looks good. So now I'm gonna take this part and I just I just go down from this point. I just part straight down to separate. My hair is already still straight, so I'm not gonna put too much heat on it. But I am gonna take my hot comb. This one is the Infinite Pro by Conier, and I'm just gonna comb it down. Cause I do like this part to be flat. If it's not as flat as I want, I could just go. Like this. And that. Now it's super flat. Okay. Next part. Now remember, I only have two pieces left, so I have to be very mindful. They are not very big pieces. Okay. So I'm going to part out a big old piece like this much. And I'm going to take a little bit of this. I've been using this. This is the Heat protector by Crema Nature. I also use the Cantu Thermal Shield. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that because that's wet. This is like a oil. That that Cantu makes your hair wet, so it's gonna steam up. So I just want to rub this in this part, and let's just comb. Okay, that's cool. And then I'm just gonna... So now that I have that straight, I'm gonna put this one in. Just make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna start on the end and I'm just gonna clip it. And I'm gonna clip it in. And it's in, it's in there, looking so good. Oh, I love it. I love these clip-ins, bro. I'm telling you, I have not used clip-ins like in a long time. And it wasn't like clip-ins that I bought. It was like clip-ins that I made. 
This is so much nicer. This is so much nicer. So next, I'm going to part out another big piece. Super big piece. Look at that. Same thing. I'm going to add some of this. Because I already sprayed that can too, so we're not going to wet up our hair anymore. But we're going to rub some of this oil in here. Because this oil definitely makes a difference. I'm going to comb through it all. Try to get my front. Okay, so that's pretty flat. So then you just go, like with anything, just rub it. I was always taught that the back of the comb does the, does the straightening. So I'm going to take this piece, comb that jones out, and we're going to put this one in place starting at the front. When you put your front combs down, like try to get as close as you can to your part and to the front because you kind of want to camouflage your hair. See? Can't even see my hair. So we pull all this out and this is what we got. Oh, see, this is why I comb it before I put it in to try to alleviate these tangles from happening. Cause it does get tangled. It doesn't really shed that much, I can say. I don't have like a whole lot of hair coming out when I when it's when I comb it. I don't have a whole lot of hair coming out. But hair does come out. <laughs> but not a whole lot. All right, so that's that part. So this last part over here is just what I need to blend my leave out pretty much. How I do that, I'm sorry, I got hair in my mouth. Put some of this, same thing. Just rub this real good. Cause I think this side of my hair is a little bit short. See, it kind of broke off, I think. And if I need to, I also got this little bad boy to use. I don't think I need that one though. So now we're just going to do the same thing. Just straighten this. Okay, so I'm just going to pull all my hair up in an attempt to just comb everything down and make sure everything is nice and blended. And see that hair back here that I wanted to straighten? You can't even see it, so I'm not going to put heat on my hair if I don't have to. But you see how this is just like blowing up? Take some free spray. Just a little bit. And then just get a brush and just brush it down for those flyaways. But you could even put some more of that heat protectant on your hair to get those to catch those flyaways. So that's that, because that's all that is is your hair. So we could even take a little bit of that. And just rub that in. Now, as you can see, this all looks really good. Real, real good. So this last part is getting my part in this section. Look at this. See how tangled up that is compared to how nice and straight this is? So we're going to fix this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our part. We're going to go ahead and just separate this again. Make sure we got 
the edge on is how we want it. And this, we're not going to mess with that short section. But what I am going to do is I'm going to add some heat protectant to this section. I'm just going to put it because I'm about to put that um, straightening comb right on this side. I'm just going to see how my hair is just like, bruh. And I have to straighten this because I'm not adding any more. I'm not adding any hair like I was on the other side. So we just go clip this up out of the way. Rub some heat protectant on here. Because um, my hair, I don't want my hair. I want my hair to grow. I want it to be curly. So we, we got goals here. And see, that's one of the problems right there. Let me comb it out first. So tangled. It's, it's definitely from sweat on that neck. The neck is from sweat. And it doesn't have to be super straight. I just need it to be straight enough so it will blend. Okay, that's perfect. So let's just put this like that. So now we're going to comb this out, get everything. And I'm just holding it because I didn't comb it. The clippings are still in. They've been in for over a week. And I just don't want to pull them out by with these like little tangled areas that may appear. So that looks so much better. So that's out of the way. So how I'm gonna define my part is I'm gonna go in, go in with my hot comb. And first I think I'm just gonna just do this, just add a little heat to it. Get as close as you can without burning yourself, bruh. Do not burn yourself, especially on the front. And then just like lift your hair up and just run the hot comb over it. Nice and straight. And if your hair is like mine, like broken off in different spots in this area, that's why your part isn't going to be super defined because you got broken off parts. So let's go back in and try to redefine this. Let's that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That's nice. Let's brush this out. So then we're going to go to the front. Okay. So that's good. And I'm just going to throw this behind my ear. And I'm about to do my edges because that's the only thing that we have left. Only thing we have left is those edges. Everything else is looking crazy. So now what I'm going to do is... So what we gonna do now is these edges. Oh, I'm gonna be using this can too. I got some other stuff that I like to use, but I'm running out. Let me see if I can if I can find it. Let me see if I got. So I got this one. I like to use this too. This is the Kish Edge Fixer. I think this is their um, collab with Saweetie, but the top is left off. You see how it gets like white and gooey? It doesn't really spread right when it gets like that. So I can't really use that anymore. So we're gonna be using the Cantu just for the video. We'll use the Cantu. And I usually get like a real good amount. And I just kind of like touch it on where I want it to be. Okay. I put any excess in the top. And then I go in, baby. So 
So that's, can you guys see that? That's how that's looking. Then I got some the excess in my cap. Take that and I do some stuff over here. Just on the front. I don't do anything over here because it's gonna be covered. So I just like push it back. Take my little brush. And just brush it in. See this, all this is gonna be covered. So I just brush it in. Yes. So then we can just go in and we can just comb it all out. And I am able to curl this hair. I did use my curly wand on it. Just to attempt to put like some little curls in it. But it was a lot of work. The curls weren't staying. When you curl it, you have to put um like hold it with a clip for a little bit. It was too much work, but I don't have time for all of that. I was not doing all the name yet. So I just keep it straight. I have nowhere to go or nothing to do. I'll just put it in a ponytail. But today is a filming day. So we gonna, we gonna leave it like this for that. Okay, and if, I, if this gets in my way, I could just do like this. I could just do like this. Still covers what I needed to cover. Okay, so this is everything. This is the hair, the clippings. Um, this is what I got. I don't know the brand, I'm sorry guys. I can't, I wanna thin out my edges, ends here. I got a thinner razor. Let me push this down. It's kind of thick, I'm gonna just thin it out. Okay. Remember the name. I can't remember the name of these clippings that I got. If I can remember the brand that I purchased, I'll put it in a description box. But I don't know. I don't remember. I don't even think I still got the package for this. I don't even think I still got the package, but but they serve the purpose. I get I get a look in a minute or so. I don't gotta do too much. Bruh. It's what's up. It's, it's, it's what's up. So I just make sure I keep it together. Yeah, and I'm gonna be this is what I'm wearing, bro. This is this is like an everyday thing for me. I can just throw this thing on and we good. We good. We good. I just need to do my face and we're about to start filming. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video on these, you know, how I change the part in my clipping is pretty much what I was showing you how I do it. I'm not pretty much showing you anything. It's not like a hair review because I don't even remember the name of these clippings. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.